For more than four decades now, ATA has been serving its member institutions in order that they may effectively serve the Church in fulfilling God's mission within diverse Asian cultures. We have walked alongside our member institutions through our accreditation services, value-added services, publications, and the Asia Graduate School of Theology. All these ministries undergird our commitment to strengthening interaction among member institutions, enhancing scholarship, promoting academic excellence, fostering spiritual and ministerial formation, and mobilizing resources. One of the marks of a maturing church is the capacity to do theology that addresses the needs of its own context. Presently, there are very few resources that engage the issues of the different contexts of Asia. ATA Publication seeks to address this by producing resources that are pastoral, contextual, and prophetic from within our own context. One example of which is the Asia Bible Commentary Series. This is a commentary of each book of the Bible written from within the different context of Asia. ATA also publishes peer-reviewed scholarly journals twice yearly, one of which is the Journal of Asian Evangelical Theology, or JAI, which is also an avenue through which Asian scholars are given voice. Through JAI, we are able to address Asia-specific questions. And we also have the Journal of Asian Missions, or JAM, which seeks to encourage reflective thinking among Christian leaders training Asians for the missionary task. JAM aims to provide a setting in which theories and practices of missions are evaluated. And lastly, we also publish the proceedings of our annual theological consultations in order to encourage scholarly collaboration across Asia. Through the years, God has never failed to bless the ministry of ATA. Our membership has expanded to 33 countries in East and Southeast Asia, South Asia, Western Asia, and even in regions outside Asia, such as the Pacific, North America, and Europe, due to the Asian diaspora. AGST has likewise expanded. We now have five AGSTs. AGST Japan, AGST Alliance, AGST Philippines, AGST Pacific, and AGST Nepal. Furthermore, the Lord has likewise grown our partnerships, which has thus allowed us to expand and strengthen our ministries, which enable us to move towards the fulfillment of our vision to see our member institutions effectively serving the church in fulfilling God's mission. God has led ATA to form significant partnerships with a number of organizations over the recent years. Our partnership with Langham Literature enabled us to publish the Asia Bible Commentary Series on a larger scale. Our partnership with the Asbury Theological Seminary enabled writers to spend some months at the Asbury campus for research and writing. Our partnership with the Global Associates for Transformational Education, or GATE, has opened the door for us to conduct workshops that help institutions and faculty facilitate transformational education. The four-year annual workshop has begun in North and South India, Nepal, and Mongolia. This has been made possible through a grant from a generous donor. Another partnership is with Scholar Leaders International to carry out the Vital Sustainability Initiative Project. This project aims at the development not just of appropriate leaders, but also of the capacity of the institutions to sustain their mission and to strengthen the witness of the Church in society. ATA has indeed experienced tremendous growth over the years, and it has not just been numerical growth, but growth in the quality of our services. And we praise God for dedicated servant leaders who worked hard to make the vision the Lord laid in their hearts an ongoing reality. ATA seeks to further strengthen the quality of theological education in Asia and beyond. As part of the International Council for Evangelical Theological Education, or ISEP, 
ATA is committed to adhere to the standards and guidelines for global theological education. And with education as dynamic and as fast changing as the world today, we find ways to keep up, which is why the ATA Board of Leaders came up with priority goals that came along an enlarged vision. ATA envisions our member institutions effectively serving the Church in fulfilling God's global mission. God has indeed done amazing things in and through the life of ATA. And as we are quickly moving toward our 50th year, we are going nowhere else but forward. And as we do, we bring with us the next generation of leaders, and this will be reflected in many of our future endeavors. Our world today is highly globalized and digitalized, and so is the next generation, fondly called millennials, which we are hoping to reach and equip for God's mission. Thus, the theme of our 2019 Triennial General Assembly the future church, a theological response. And this General Assembly will also kick off the festivities for our 50th year anniversary. And in 2020, we celebrate our 50th year. It will be a special celebration, as well as an affirmation of our call to strengthen and accompany the mission of the church in Asia, and to equip leaders for the Asian church through contextual theological reflection, construction, and education. And we look forward to another 50 years and more of God raising up a vibrant church in Asia and beyond.